Congress, Mr. John Pasca. The demand for certain skills at the workplace continues to evolve year in, year out. This calls for all training institutions to step up when it comes to providing training to the citizens of this country, as alluded to by various speakers during the launch. Deputy Prime Minister John Rosso today stressed on the importance of having the policy to guide those training institutions so to meet the demand at the workplace. Rosso highlighted that PNG has experienced rapid economic developments and social changes in all sectors, and that it is vital that PNG develop a coherent national human resource development strategy in accordance with this growth and also in line with other PNG development strategy. Rosso said that the policy is vital to drive some of the government's vision and strategy forward. One of the strategic priorities or key result areas for the Ministry of Labor and Immigration that is critical to driving the Prime Minister's vision and our government's vision of taking back PNG is having a relevant, inclusive and dynamic national training policy framework for the country and how it harnesses the quality of skills, knowledge, compet competencies and attitudes of citizens in their fields of trade, profession and occupation. Rosso added that training and skills development can trigger employment if it is regulated through proper updated policy. Oftentimes, mismatch or unregulated training and development sector contributes immensely to dysfunctional high unemployment. He said this policy seems to appreciate the recently approved national employment policy and stress on the importance of the policy. Proper training and skills, we as a country cannot be cohesive. We need to train our younger generation, and not just by training them lax a daisily, we have to train them properly. We have mines coming up, we have a lot of agriculture sector coming up, but the biggest thing is a lack of focus on a proper policy and proper training. Our young people, and also ourselves need proper updated policies. And it is the role of government through the Office of Labor and Employment to ensure that these policies are done properly. That is to guide us so that when we roll out efficient training, it is efficient and appropriate training. We should not be training people knowingly that that training is not focused on giving our children the best guidance and training possible. We should not just be giving them training for two weeks, knowing very well that someone cannot drive a car in two weeks. Rosso calls for enforcement and implementation of the policy by all stakeholders. Over 500 participants from the four regions contributed towards the development of the policy. The policy replaces the previous 1989 policy and represents the first major review and update of the training policy. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News.